Hi everyone. Um, it feels like forever since I last made a video. Um, the past like month has felt like probably about five years. Um, how much has been fit in in just one month has been about a lifetime of working out too. And it's been absolutely incredible to experience and a great privilege to be a part of. And I feel so honored that God has entrusted me with this story and just sharing what he is doing. Um, but so much has gone on since my 21 day challenge. I will never know how many yeses were in that one yes to, to just saying, you know, I'm not gonna look at myself for 21 days. It is, it is amazing all that has come of it and all that will come of it. To think that this crazy spontaneous decision to just not look at myself for three weeks, to think of what it has created, who I've become, what it's done, um, it just leaves me speechless. <laughs> and it leaves me incredibly in awe of what God can do with our obedience. So I'm just going to quickly try to condense um, the highlights that have happened since um, the challenge. And then I promise to start doing more videos again. Um, I just got to figure out what format I want it in and just get the YouTube channel up and running. But um, if you follow me on Facebook, if you're friends with me, you will know one of the wonderful yeses that came out of that challenge was being in a relationship. And um, it has been 15 years in the making, that relationship. We met when we were 10. And he lovingly and graciously pursued me. And um, stuck with me through a lot. This man is unlike any I will ever know. He's been a constant supporter and encourager. He has never left my side. Um, even in the darkest times. And that says a lot. Just knowing that I've not walked a normal path and that never scared him away, that never had him run. It's, it's a love like I've never known before. And because I finally embraced God's love, I've been able to embrace this love. And it has changed me. I will never say that somebody completes me. Um, I'm complete in God. But what this man has done is just enhanced who God has created me to be. And he just challenges me to be better and to step outside of my comfort zone and to break off fears. That's the tremendous thing is that he breaks fears without knowing he's doing it. Um, some things I don't always stay vocal about, um, but I let him do it and the fear just falls because I trust him. And I know, I trust God in him, that's the thing. And that's what makes all the difference is he allows God to work through him and then him through me. And it creates something quite incredible. But um, I'm very happy. And that is my favorite yes that has come from the whole 21 day challenge. But um, there have been other yeses too. There's been sushi. There's been Mexican, there's been pancakes, there's been breakfast, there's been dinner with family, um, ice cream, everything. God has just done incredible work and empowered every yes that I've said to the point where I will say it and it just doesn't even phase me that just the consequences of it. 
because I used to be so fixated on, well, if I eat this, then tomorrow I'm going to be such and such pounds heavier. I'm going to look different. I don't even care about that anymore. I'm just enjoying life and enjoying those moments when I say yes and getting to experience all these firsts because it's so different the second time around when you experience something for the first time. There's a deeper meaning and purpose to it. And there's a deeper significance, a remembrance that I will never forget. And joy that just gets deposited that will never leave. So, to say that I'm enjoying life is an understatement. I am madly in love with this life God has given me and the life that I'm choosing to live. Because there are days where it's still hard. Yesterday was a rough one. Um, just emotion-wise, anytime with a change of seasons, it always comes. My mood always dips down and I had to be so careful of that because anytime I was in treatment, it was always in the winter months. The relapse would always begin in October and then just keep going for about six months. So I had to be very cautious and attentive to what is happening and aware of my emotions and to not let my emotions lead to thoughts and the thoughts lead to behaviors. So um, just because life is wonderful does not mean that everything else stops from coming. There still be sad days and bad days and struggles, but it's all choice. It's me choosing that no matter what, that I will keep going. It is keeping the resolve that I'm not going back to where I once was, that I'm not returning to that life, no matter how bad things get, no matter how tired I may be. I'm only moving forward. And even if it looks like some days I'm just stuck in place, I know that God is still working in me and moving in me. And I don't know where I'm moving. Um, the anticipation for that is growing. The need to travel and the just the want to just share um, all that is happening in me is is increasing by the day, but I'm learning to be patient in the waiting and to trust. And um, I'm really excited to get to share it all with you and to keep sharing this journey and share love and light and just life and hope with everyone because that's what keeps me going is that all this pain is gonna have purpose and it'll all make sense one day. So um, I'm looking forward to what is to come and um, I will have another video soon.